It's a document that details hundreds of millions in fraud, corruption, extortion, and the honest services law. After first being hauled into court in late September, this week was the deadline to indict. But it was also a deadline for parties to discuss to see if they could resolve the case. So one thing we see is that none of these parties have reached a resolution with the prosecutors and have come to a plea agreement, at least not yet. The only one who has is this man, Todd Howe. He once worked for former Governor Mario Cuomo and for Andrew Cuomo when he was Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Clinton. Now Howe is a witness for the prosecution after pleading guilty to multiple felonies. And that's the key, according to attorney Paul Darahanessian, who we asked for analysis. To support not just uh, testimonies to what he saw, but to interpret emails, to interpret words that might not be clear or that might be somewhat equivocal. The document says how hired Joseph Prococo to work for Mario Cuomo. He's a top advisor to current Governor Andrew Cuomo, but left his job as executive deputy secretary back in January. Prococo also indicted. U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara alleges in the 36 pages that How was a consultant and reported to Elaine Calleros, who ran SUNY Poly until recently. Calleros' attorney issued a statement says he's innocent and confident that at the end of this process, a jury will conclude that he committed no crimes along the way. The current governor has denied any knowledge of any of this. Anyone who's connected to any of these transactions should be concerned. It doesn't necessarily have to be a high-ranking official. It can be other individuals, too, that could be brought in, questioned, ensnared in some way or other. John Craig, News Channel 13 Today.